Dyke Motorsports. I just kind of wanted to go over a few key features here with you on the new Polaris Razor Pro R. Uh, a whole lot of industry first in this machine, so pretty excited to go over a few things. Obviously the first thing everyone has really been talking about is this Polaris Pro Star Fury two liter four cylinder engine making 225 horsepower. Not only is that the most amount of power any factory machine has ever put out, but it's the only one that's ever come with four cylinders as well. And there's a whole lot of pluses to this automotive style setup that I really want to kind of go over with you. Um, a big one is all that power is actually being fed through to the industry's largest and most well-cooled and ventilated dry clutch system. Um, and a lot of something really neat is you'll notice you're not going to see your typical clutch setup down here like normal. Um, I've got a lot of people that have been asking the questions of, well, if something happens on a trail side because, well, dry clutch belts do what dry clutch belts do, um, how am I going to fix it? It's actually a lot easier because instead of having to be down here on the ground working around all this stuff back here, um, it actually is all back here. So you actually access your clutch housing from behind the seat. So just like in your Pro XP's, how the seat comes up, you get to it that way. So it's actually really easy. You don't have to be laying on the ground or any of that nonsense. It's pretty neat. And also, especially in your West Coast areas, you're gonna be running a whole lot of lights and accessories and things like that. Um, and a big thing that happens is you really just kind of run out of power to run them. Uh, with this though, you actually get a 1700 watt belt driven alternator, which is also an industry first. Um, also, on this machine, you get a two inch tube completely welded cage from the factory. And with this as well, you get a much stronger chassis. Actually, it has a two times the uh, torsional stiffness that a Pro XP has, which is already a pretty stiff and well-rounded machine. So to make the bold claim of being two times stiffer, that's, that's a pretty big feat. Um, also, another big thing is this is the first machine to be actually 74 inches wide from the factory. And with that, you're going to get 29 inches of usable travel out of these Walker three inch Walker Evans needle valve shocks with 16 position clickers. And they're easy clickers as well. There's no more running through with a screwdriver or anything like that. A lot of the industry has gone to this to where you can, you know, you can just take your hand adjust it. They're audible, well felt clicks. So even if you're running around with gloves and cold climates, things of that sort, it makes it pretty easy. And that goes to these 32 inch from the factory, Maxxis Rampage Furies. Heck of a tire guys, it, re it really is. And also you're going to get a fully boxed Max Leak suspension. And a couple things I really want to kind of go over here that are really cool. So most machines, you notice your shock actually connects to the upper A-arm, but in this, it goes through the upper and connects to the lower. And what that does is that really maximizes travel. So you're gonna get a plusher ride, you're gonna get a whole lot more travel out of it. And something they did too to even minimize slop was the axles ran through this lower mount for the shock itself connecting through. And the same thing kind of continues to the rear on being kind of new and wild. Um, you get the same rear box, that same box setup from that Maxley, but in the swing arm, you actually have a space right here because you actually have um, this full toe link that runs through all the way to the back just to kind of make things a little more stable. You get these high clearance radius rods and something else that's really exciting is you get these unitized hubs. This is the first machine to utilize an automotive setup in a fully serviceable unitized hub which is a pretty big deal, especially for people that are actually out going to be fixing things on a trail side. And obviously making 225 horsepower, pushing a 2,144 pound machine dry through any kind of terrain, you're gonna need a much stiffer, beefier setup in general over the entire machine. That's really what they've done here. And something to kind of accentuate that is you're actually getting five lug wheels from the factory. I know a lot of people were kind of upset to hear about that and the fact that their wheel options are going to be a lot narrower, but your wheel options that are there are going to be a lot stronger. And that kind of speaks leaps and bounds for itself. Um, but guys, that's really the biggest key points I have for you that are actually new on these machines. 
Uh, thanks for sticking around. That's my uh, quick overview of the Pro Arbor.